Today on episode two, I guess, of Essential Truck Gear, we're gonna be talking about the Diamondback truck cover that a lot of you guys have been asking about. So I figured it's time to do a little review of it. So I'm just gonna film this all outside. I let my chickens out free ranging. So if you hear some quack, 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 that's them and I apologize. Uh, so for those of you that watch my channel, you know I'm a gun guy, you know I keep a lot of gear in my car, a lot of pretty valuable gear. Um, and it's always kind of been in the back of my mind, security of that gear. I park in a private parking lot and I'm, I'm home a lot of the time and I'm not, I live in a pretty safe neighborhood and all that. So I'm not too worried about my truck getting broken in and those things getting stolen. But the more I thought about it, the more I kind of sh felt that I should be a little more worried about that. So anyways, I was looking into options. I was looking into, you know, if you're a gun guy, you know, the uh, truck vault, those drawers that you put in the back of your truck uh, that can keep all your items secured. Or I was looking at other options. Like I always kept my get home bag and a pack safe and my back seat and all that. But then I was, you know, I was tired of giving up room in my back seat for all that stuff. And I have a truck and I have a lot of room in my bed. I mean, it's a small bed relative to every other truck out there, but there's room in my bed and I wanted to make use of it. But at the same time, I actually use my truck. I build a lot of things, I move things, I'm moving firewood or building supplies or lumber or whatever. So. I didn't want a truck vault that took up basically a big portion of my bed and it would be a huge pain to get it out if I needed to actually use my bed for something. So I started looking into different truck covers and coincidentally came across a review from a Canadian prepper about his Diamondback truck cover and I was like, oh man, that thing is sweet. So I did a little more research and I was like, that fits the bill, that, that, that does what I'm looking for. So anyways, you've seen this on my truck in some past videos and I've had a lot of comments about it, asking me to do a review of it. So here it is. So in some of my other videos, my older truck videos, you saw that I used to, you might've seen anyway, that I had a, a soft tonneau cover on here. Tano, Tanio, I don't know. I, I've always said tonneau, but I've heard it pronounced crazy ways. Anyways, I had a trifold soft tonneau on the back of my truck and I just like the clean look of it and it helps with fuel economy a little bit and I wanted to keep prying eyes out of the gear that I had in my truck. Now I had some gear in the bed of my truck previously before I got this thing that, you know, some of it was fairly valuable, but I wasn't too worried. If, if it got broken into and got stolen, it wouldn't be the end of the world. But as I wanted to move more gear out of the cab of my truck and move it in the bed of my truck, I realized that that gear I wanted to move back there was more valuable and I really would care if it got stolen. So at any given time, if anyone recognized my, my truck or just wanted to break into a truck, they could have just grabbed a knife and cut right into that soft tonneau. So as I mentioned, I was looking at other options, came across this one and was like, it's great. So it's essentially a tonneau and it doesn't, it's not a trifold like the old soft one. Um, I'll show you how it works here in a second, but it kind of checked off pretty much all the boxes that I needed and it was really secure. So it's made out of a aluminum diamond plate and it's just a really solid setup and I think it looks really sweet. And so th this is, this is one of the good options out there. I was thinking about getting like a, a topper, like a camper shell type thing, but I'm just, I never liked how they looked. I just feel like they always looked like a grandpa truck unless they're really lifted and crazy overland decked out, which I'm not quite ready to be there yet. I'd love to, but I'm not there yet. So I really like the look of trucks normally without the topper. So I wanted to stick with this. I'm gonna stick with this for now. Like I said, it fit the bill. I thought it looked great. Uh, price was pretty reasonable. So let's just get into some of the features of it. So I have a few different models that, that open a little differently. This is the SE, which works the same as the HD. The HD is the more popular one that can fit like, that can hold like 1600 pounds on the top of this. This can hold 400 plus pounds on the top and this is really all I need. If you're gonna be parking like an ATV on the top of this or something, you might wanna go with the HD, but for all my needs, I just went for the SC. It's a little lighter weight, it's a little cheaper. Uh, but other than that, it's essentially the same as the HD model. So you have these two handles that opens. So essentially opens up like this and gives you access to the rear half of your bed like this or the front half of your bed like this. And I'll get in here in a little bit and show you why this is kind of important for the setup that I wanted to use. So in addition to that, these are these little pistons 
um, and they're quick detach. So if you want, if you need access to the full portion of your bed, or if you need this to fold all the way flat, it can, and I'll demonstrate that here in a second as well. But basically, for for the most part, if you just need to get back into your bed here, this will be locked down. These are all lockable, and you open it up, get back, get whatever you want to do, and then close it up like that. Additionally, the nice thing about this tonneau cover that isn't shared by a lot of others is that you can both access it from the top here, keeping your tailgate closed, but you can also just open your tailgate if you just need to get into it and out of it like that. So either method you can get into, that's, I just wanted to mention that because I was kind of researching and I didn't really find a clear answer very easily about that. So this, you can do it that way or that way and it works either way. And honestly, I usually keep this locked. It's a little key. So when I'm getting back here, I'm usually getting something out like this. So it's nice that I can just do that. Um, and in conjunction, I also installed a pop and lock, which means that the tailgate of my truck now operates with the lock. So I unlock it and then I can get access to it. So that's really convenient. Um, so if you're thinking about a lockable bed and, or a topper or anything, you might want to check out a pop and lock as well because they're really convenient. They are really loud though, that's something I didn't know. So you might be able to hear it. It's no joke, so it's not very quiet. Uh, and that's something that nobody really talked about that I ever saw, but another thing that you should know, if you get a pop and lock, they're super loud anyways on a Tacoma. All right, so from the rear here, just open this, and we'll open this for good measure too so you can kind of see what's going on in here. So I have my uh, tub here. Maybe I'll get into it uh, in another video. This is essentially my winter, winter tub. This is a bunch of kind of winter essentials in here, chains and that kind of stuff. Uh, and then in the back here, you'll see this aluminum thing that comes down about halfway depth of my bed. Now this is essentially kind of like a toolbox back here. Uh, and that's where I keep all of my gear. So we'll get up there in just a second, but I just kind of wanted to show you how this looks from this side. Essentially, it opens up and then you have access to your bed, just, just like normal, just like you'd expect. So now this thing's angled up. Uh, so if you need to fit something kind of tall that fits in here, you can do that. Um, but these things, like I mentioned earlier, are quick, quick release. So you just kind of bend this thing back these things fall in here like that. And then this thing can fold up like this. And then you can put whatever tall you want back here uh, in this back, a uh, little less than half of the bed. So if you have something tall, you can pretty easily just flip that up and get that out of the way. In addition, sorry, I locked my tailgate, I guess. In addition, these panels are each pretty light. I think, the, I think these ones are around like 25 or 30 pounds, a little heavier if your truck's bigger. And they, once you have the uh, angle right here, it's kind of come off and then you can just pull this right off like that. So if you actually just want to remove the panel completely, it's pretty light, pretty easy one man job. And then you'll come back here and line these hinges back up. Slide it on, and then you're back, good to go. So you can do that with the rear panel and the front panel as well. So if you need to take off a panel, the front of the rear panel for whatever reason, it's really quick to just take off. So here we have the front panel of the bed and my multicam flag back here. My buddy Gabe Tam makes these sweet decals. Maybe I'll put a link to them in the description because people always ask about that. So this same thing has a little lock here. I unlocked it for this and you just turn it and it comes up like that. So this is probably, you know, the area that you guys kind of care about the most to see how I have this set up back here. Now this has kind of been changing. I just uh, got a new bag, new get home bag, a little bigger and uh, just a little better bag than I had before. So this is a SOG Profit 33. Maybe I'll do an updated get home bag video 
uh, coming up soon. Anyway, so I keep my get home bag here. You can probably see I have my rifle back here as well. And I'll kind of just take this stuff out and show you kind of this tray basket area. I don't know what the technical term is, but Diamondback makes this as well. It's another aluminum thing, really lightweight. Um, so this whole thing with this, with the cover plus this tray, I think for the Tacoma is around like 100 pounds. So it'll be a little more for the bigger, bigger trucks, the longer beds and stuff. But I think for the Tacoma, it's really, it's much lighter than it looks. So it's a pretty nice little setup. So I'll just kind of start pulling this stuff out of here. Uh, so you can you can see what all this stuff could fit and you can kind of you can kind of theorize what you might be able to put back here so I have this SOG Profit 33 bag with my AR on the side of it here and then yeah I don't know maybe I don't need to take all this stuff out you can see it so here maybe I'll go around to the other side so here there's a little, a little pocket on this side and then a little pocket on the other side too. So with a little bit of separ separation here. Here I just have a three mil like contractor's bag and then I have some rope over here, but you could keep, you know, whatever you want over on this side. I have a shovel. I got a little bit of a bigger shovel than I had previously in my truck just cause I had a little more room now. I have my Fisker's ax, I got this, big uh, pry bar thing. I uh, have my roto packs back here. It's not mounted anymore like it used to be because I don't really need that mount because I can fit it all back here. Uh, and then on the other side I have, um, let me see if my microphone will reach all the way over here. It will. So I have, this is just a sleeping bag liner actually that I just tossed back here and then I have my uh, uh, what are these called? Cutters. Uh, bolt cutters. That's it. So that's what I have back here. So I could fit more stuff. You know, I'm not using the best use of space back here, and I have a pretty big pack that fits back here. But it's nice because all that stuff is sitting up here up high. I can access it by pulling this stuff up, and it just stays out of the way. So for everyday use of my truck, all this stuff is just out of the way, it's out of sight, it's out of mind, but it's here when I need it. So I, I can keep a, a quite quite big load of stuff here. And it's not taking up really like usable bed space. Now this this is this bed space is usable for some things, but for most of my needs, I'm never using this top portion of the front of my bed. I'm you know loading in wood or whatever and I'm using the bottom portion of the front of my bed. So it fits under this thing and it really just works out great for me. So you'll see for me, there's this little gap here. Um, and that's partially because there's these little tie downs here that kind of hit here. So these are removable very easily. Uh, and I removed it so I could put this thing all the way forward. But then I put them back in because I was like, well, if there ever comes a time where I do need the full use of my bed, it's probably because I need something big and I'm probably gonna wanna use these tie downs. So I just left them in. Um, and now I kind of like having this gap because if there's something that gets pushed up to the front of my bed, I can reach down here and get it and push it back out of the way or whatever. So keeping this gap here for the Tacoma specifically, I decided to go ahead and leave it because it kind of made sense for me personally. But if you want to go ahead and move this all the way up to the front, you can do that. So the other reason I left this gap here is because this, I don't know if I can pull this down. Oh, you can actually see it right there. So it's probably blurry. I don't think it'll focus because it's pretty close. So that anyway, oh, I think it did focus. I can't tell. So the, that, what you're seeing right there is the locking mechanism. So there's a little pole that goes right into the channel, these tracks of the Tacoma. Now it's a little different for every truck. The, the Tacoma's got these ra a rail system that goes the full length. So that just goes right into the rail, rail system. On the rear, I'll show you, it's kind of a ramp thing. So anyways, I wanted to leave that little portion open because that's how I set up my, um, my truck cover to go in and lock it to keep it secure. So that's the setup that I went with back here for the Tacoma. Again, it's different for every truck. So, but if you get one for the Tacoma and you have my exact setup and you want to replicate it and you're wondering what I did here, that's what I did. So to show you a little bit about this how the setup works, look at this stupid silky chicken. Show you a little bit about how the setup works. There's essentially these two rods 
So this thing is what you turn and it locks your system in. So that pushes these two rods there and there essentially into this channel. If we can get some focus on here. So I'll go ahead and put this on the tripod and try and let you see what's going on here. So this will go down and then that'll lock in there. And I think hopefully you're able to see that. So that happens on both sides there. Uh, and it's a pretty secure setup, obviously. It's so really the main difference between the SE and the HD is the HD has more of these box cross members going across the way to help support more weight on the top. Um, now this one, as you saw earlier, supports plenty of weight. I can jump around on top of it, no problem. I can put stuff on top of it. And that's kind of nice because it comes, so this is the black, like, uh, Linex type coated one. It comes with these little, uh, sorry, my camera's confused on what it wants to focus on. It comes with these tie down points. So you can put stuff, whatever you need, right on top of it. So some people put the ATVs on the HD ones, obviously, but you can put pre something pretty heavy on the SE ones as well. And what that allows you is basically full use of your bed and then put a whole nother layer of stuff right on top however you want to. And then you can tie it down with these guys here. So like I showed you earlier, you can take these things off with these hinges. Uh, they have little locking things so you can't pull them left and right unless they're all the way open like past whatever 60 degree angle or something like that. So they can't slide off right now unless you remove these guys and then fold it up the rest of the way. So it consists of your rear portion, your front portion, and the center channel, which is also kind of like your rain gutter. I don't know if you can see it in here. Anyway, so your water can drip down here and then drain out these little holes right here. So it is waterproof, has a pretty, pretty heavy duty gasket around the whole thing that you can see is compressed down here. And then the center pant, the centerpiece is held in for the Tacoma, it's into the bed rail, for other trucks it'll be something different. So to take the whole thing off, you just take those two off and then two on the other side. And if you had two people, you could just lift this thing right off like it is now. So if you needed access to your whole bed, you undo those bolts, one person comes, grabs from this side, backs it off, and then you have full access of your bed like that. And then to mount it back on, you just lift it back on and set it down. And if you just had a single person, you can still remove it all. It's just you gotta take the panel off like I showed you. They're really light, just move it, take that one off, take that one off, and then take the centerpiece off. So pretty easy if you need full access to your bed as well. But for me, I don't usually. So like I was saying before, a lot of times when I get lumber, I'll have it angled back into under there. So you can fit plenty of lum lumber the full length of the bed underneath that thing. So having that thing so high really makes it easy to get full use of your bed for me. Not well, full use of your bed, not full use obviously, but essentially the full use that I need of my bed for most things. The other nice thing is I do truck camping, so I have a tent for the back of my bed. And I don't need to remove this thing because my legs fit under here fine when I'm sleeping. So I'll probably do a... Uh, truck camping video here coming up because I'm going to go up uh, up in the snow and do some like zero degree camping with some of my buddies coming up in the next month or so. So I'll show basically how camping works in the back of this thing with the truck tent without having to remove any of this. And it's kind of nice. I'll just give you the cliff notes. Is you take this little support off, fold this forward, and then essentially this whole thing becomes kind of a table in your tent. You can put stuff on your heater, your food, your stove, whatever, and still have a good portion of your tent available where you can still kind of stand up here. So the pros are obviously a lot. I like a lot of, 
a lot of things about this truck cover. There's one con for me, and maybe I just don't have it set up right, and maybe it's specific to the Tacoma, but essentially when this thing, when you open the front one of this, and then go to close it, I can't quite close it right. So this will close, oh, well, it's funny that I say that because it just closed right. But sometimes um, when I'm closing this, and it might just be before because I had, I had more stuff under here that kind of gave a little bit of resistance. But before, you may run into this, and yeah, it's funny because now it's working fine. It's sucking that side in. But before, I would close it, and it wouldn't close because that side wouldn't quite line up to the rail. So what I had to do was kind of climb up here and put a little bit of weight on it and close it. So that was an issue that I had, but as you saw, it's not an issue anymore. Maybe, maybe it was, I don't know. It had been an issue before and it's not an issue now, apparently. But that's one thing that I didn't want to gloss over because it was one issue that I've had with it. Really the only issue that I've had with it. But maybe it's a non-issue anymore. Hey guys, so that's basically it. I know the video is pretty long, but I wanted to be pretty detailed to uh, show everything. Show how I have this thing set up. I mean, it's pretty pretty big thing, pretty expensive thing, so I don't like to just gloss over things like that and I get pretty detailed. So it is what it is and I'm sorry if it was longer than you wanted, but a lot of you asked for longer videos, so you got it. Uh, stay tuned for more videos. Maybe I'll just, while I'm out here, do a uh, winter truck gear video real quick and show you kind of what I carry in my truck for the winter. Anyways, if you have any questions, about this guy feel free to ask him in the comments below uh, but i can definitely recommend it for for my needs you know everyone needs everyone's needs kind of differ but for me it kind of it's, it's a great thing i think it looks amazing and i really like it. it's worked out great for me if you like the video go ahead and thumbs up it leave me a comment below uh, if you hated it you know you can thumbs down it but i don't really like when people do that if you haven't subscribed yet please subscribe to the channel um, if you want to see more truck gear, just let me know down below. It seems like you guys want to know what I'm always doing to my truck, so I think these videos are pretty well accepted. All right, guys, take care. Oh, and as always, links below uh, to get the stuffs in the description. Uh, give them a call, too, if you have questions. Their, their site has a lot of information, but really getting someone on the phone to answer all your questions is kind of the way to go with kind of a bigger purchase like this. They make them for pretty much every truck out there. These guys have been around for forever for I don't know how many years I don't even want to get over 30 years though I think um, and they've never had a reported break into these truck covers so that's a good thing all right anyways take care